VOCs are volatile organic compounds. They're present in everyday stuff like gasoline, diesel, and dry cleaning products. Today we're going to give you some sampling tips for soil vapor because we know it can be a bit tricky. Hopefully this can help you to get it right the first time. Hi, my name's Jen and I'm the VOC team lead here at Caro Analytical. If it's been a while since you've done soil vapor sampling, or maybe you haven't at all, today I'm going to show you how to be a soil vapor pro. All the stuff that you're going to need for your sampling site will fit inside of this cooler here. Let's have a look at it. Here's your soil vapor pump. Depending on if you're doing single or duplicate sampling, we'll give you an end that looks like this or this. Both calibrated to 100 mils a minute per arm. At most, you're going to need to sample 2 liters. That's a 20 minute sample time. If you're not sure how much to sample, give us a call before you go sampling. We'll be happy to help you out. You'll be able to set a timer if you wanted to, so you can set it and forget it. Set up all your sampling sites at once and get things done quick. At the end of your pump tubing here is a restrictor screw. It's not meant to hold your tube in place, so please don't use it. This is a TD tube. Inside is absorbent packing that will hold onto the VOCs as you sample. You'll see here that there are two brass caps at the end of it, and they are only finger tightened. You'll use one of these for each sample you take. Your TD tube is uniquely identified by its serial number on the side here. Make sure when you're sampling, the arrow is pointing into the pump. That's the way the flow of your sample is gonna go. As you can see, the tubing on the outside of your pump is pretty flexible, but just like a garden hose, if it's kinked like this, it won't work properly. Make sure your flow tubing is unobstructed. If you're sampling in a hard to reach location, like maybe a deep well, add the budding tubing to the end of your analytical tube and grab the nylon flow that's in your cooler. That'll extend your reach. To turn it on, push the up and the down arrow at the same time and hold. You'll see the flashing blue light here on the top. The number on the front indicates how long you've been sampling for. And if you listen closely, you can hear it working too. Once you're done sampling, put one of the Caro labels on the outside of the plastic tube to let us know your sampling info. Don't put the label on the TD tube itself. That will prevent your sample from running smoothly on the instrument. Now that your sampling is done, you can stick everything back inside your cooler and ship it back to us. So liver equipment doesn't like water, so make sure to keep any ice or water away from the tubes and pumps. If you have any problems in the field or you're not sure what to do while sampling, give us a call. I'm always willing to talk. We hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned and check out caro.ca for our latest news.